out there and welcome to English Teacher Plays. We're here with Dual Universe Beta, which is a new game. It's not on Steam. It's this, It's got its own launcher and stuff, so I think it's an MMO. Um, and full disclosure, I did receive my full copy of the game for free, and we're going to play it. We're going to see what this game's all about. Um, I used to play a lot of EVE Online, so this is very interesting to me, and, uh, and we'll see if it pays off. Um, so thank you for participating in the beta. Most of the core elements of gameplay from the vision we initially set out, and we hope it'll be a lot of fun. Yep, so there's going to be bugs, all that kind of stuff. We can say okay. Health warnings. Right. Got it. Play safe and have fun. Oh, right. All right, well, we'll just do that. Right, so we've logged in, and here we go. Nova Quark, the Metaverse Company. Dun dun dun. I remember, like it was yesterday. Voice acting. The panic, the hysteria, and then the acceptance. Nice. Acceptance that Earth was going to be destroyed, and our only grim consolation was that there was nothing we could do to stop. I feel it. like I've watched this exact cutscene. Neutron star collided, and millions of years of our history. <laughs> Get wrecked, Earth and Soul. Where did the neutron star collide? Ooh, we're flying past Jupiter using those high res images. That's why they developed the Rebirth Project. Okay, this seems Everyone new. Everyone on Earth fighting for survival and a lottery among the fittest to see who gets to live thousands of light years away. Nice. Dun, 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 dun. That's why I'm here on this arc ship. I love it. Where are we off to? I'm a pioneer. One of millions. And our job will be to rebuild civilization in the cool. system. I've been frozen for the entirety of the trip. And now I'm ready to embark on my journey. Excellent. Our journey. <laughs> oh, that's so epic. I don't know what the I don't know how the hour is supposed to be like epic, but like that's definitely you know, it's fine. He's trying to include us in the uh in the story. So we're playing dual universe. I'm ready. I'm in. I'm ready to do whatever this game wants me to do. Ready to fight. Right, so I get to pick some stuff. Oh, I get to make a dude. Oh, it's pretty slow loading up. That's okay. So, let's see. Excellent. So they've done they've done the good thing. They've done the Mass Effect thing where there's not actual there's not boob armor or whatever, which is good. Oh, and you can just pick a skin tone. That is very cool. So you can be like orange. Ooh, we can be we can be we can be Donald Trump. Um, but we don't we don't need to be orange. Let's be Let's be like what my actual skin tone is. It's like about there, I think. All right. What's this one? Primary. Oh, excellent. No, no, no. Let's go up the scale. Let's get some uh, let's get some English teacher plays purple going. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Oh, we can be quite dramatic. Yep, yeah, let's be quite dramatic and detail. Detail we want it to be we want I think we want it to be like this really pink magenta. Yep. Emissive. I don't know what emissive means, but that's fine. If we if we pick that, sure. All right. Name Mr. Jacobs. So can we can we change that name? Or is that or is that set in stone? Yep. So that's that's set. Okay. Yeah, I'd love to begin a new game with this character. Let's get into it. We didn't get to see the, the character's face, so I guess that's not going to be important. Oh, here we go. It's the Matrix. These are the life pods or something. And they're getting batteries out of them. Oh, here we go. I'm liking the music so far. It's very cool. 
Well, this is like quite high production values. Like I said, I don't, I don't know anything about this game other than, uh, than that it's like spacey. So, oh. Oh, the door opened. That is a very large door for just me. Yeah, people generally make doors for the size of the things that they want to bring in and out. So, like, often in sci-fi you see doors that are just way too big for what they're actually used for. It doesn't make any sense. But that's okay. That's okay. Maybe I get, maybe I take, like, growth hormones or something and get huge. All right, we got more dual universe screens. Kind of got the Avengers A there going on. Just waiting. We're just, uh, just a chillin'. Okay, here we go. Any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. Arthur C. Clarke. Thank you. Shape your world. Press B while ray casting your contract to enter build mode. Loading times can vary and may take up to a few minutes. All right. I guess we'll fast forward. <laughs> finally in all right so the graphics have gotten significantly worse for some reason welcome to alia no well game. hello Ophelia, the hi Ophelia. AI. i will assist you in your first steps seeing as you just woke up from an extended cryo sleep period oh my god keep an eye on the chat window in the lower left part of the screen it contains a transcript of what i say with important information about which keys to press Okay, so, um, I feel like this is not is loading very well. That you can use at any time to replay this tutorial in the future. I have marked it with a green waypoint. You can also abort the tutorial by pressing the abort key at any time, but this is not recommended. You have much to learn after your long cryo sleep. To start, Let's make sure your motor skills are not affected. Simply head towards the green waypoint behind the stairs using the movement keys. Right, so, oh. Okay, so the graphics are not amazing. But that's okay. Now. And there's a lot of lag, man. There's a lot of lag. Oof. Great. Let's try your headlight which is very useful in dark areas. Press the headlight key twice to turn it on and off. Oh my gosh. Um. Okay, so, um, the game is 
very complicated and very complex, but it also seems like it's huge and awesome and I'm definitely getting like real solid EVE Online vibes. In, like the biggest one is the skills. Um, hold on. Let's see if I can open it up. Uh, is it Avatar? No, that's not it. Sorry. Um, oh my god. Talents, here it is. So you queue your skills and it and it, it you still um you skill up even if you're not online. So you keep um accruing skill points um while you're offline, which is exactly how Eve did it. So um my Eve online character I started in two thousand and two thousand and six, two thousand and five or something like that. Um and so I had like massive, massive amount of skill points. I was a very high powered character by the time it got around to when I like finally stopped playing um, because I'd been playing for so long. So this is another game like that. You know, people who start really early are going to have huge advantages, but that doesn't mean that the other people can't still play because it's about specializing and all that kind of stuff. I was a huge generalist. I could basically do everything um, pretty well. You know what I mean? Like, so that's basically what's going on here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the san Sanctuary Moon, which is essentially a moon uh, where we can, claim a, we can claim a piece of terrain, one piece of terrain that's ours, and people can't destroy it or attack it or anything. It's just our piece of moon. Now there's a lot of other stuff. You can build ships like in Space Engineers. You can build uh, speeders. You can build buildings. It says that all the buildings that you um, that you saw me walking around in, those were all built using the tools that they give you. Um, there's also like a front-end scripting language and things. Um, so the game is hella complex. Um, yeah. So I know like there are people out there that spent a lot of money on Star Citizen. Um, and it, I guess it, it promised to be this game. Um, but this game is this game? I don't know. Like, I haven't played Star Citizen because, honestly, it's just, it's obviously such a scam, man. It's never going to happen. <laughs> it started in, what, 2013? It's now seven years later, and we still don't have, like, a main release for it? Ugh. Anyways, that's a, that's a completely different video, completely different chat. Um, but I am really enjoying my time with uh, Dual Universe, even though the entire hour that you just saw compressed into the thing was all tutorials. The tutorials were very thorough and very specific and clear, and I really appreciated them. So um, we're, we're gonna go and look at the Sanctuary Moon, and we're gonna go claim ourselves a piece of dual universe, because here we go. Now, your next step is to try to locate a free tile on the map, get there and claim it. Try to find a tile not too far from a market, identified with the M icon. This will be useful later. To help you visualize the boundary of a tile in the 3D world, you can also press the Enhanced Visualization HUV key to toggle this display. Try it. Excellent. You are now ready to go hunt for your free tile. It's probably also a good time for you to deploy your speeder now, so that you can travel faster. If you want to do so, go in your inventory and double-click on the speeder blueprint, then deploy it in the world. Right now, to proceed further, we can totally do that. Until you have deployed your sanctuary territory unit. Oh, here we go. The name is gonna be. Uh, I don't know, man. The name is gonna be Sloth Wrangler. Sure, the owner is me. There we go. Congratulations, you have successfully. Now, the next step is to put fuel in the fuel tank. Oops. For this, simply open your inventory by pressing the inventory key. Okay, I can do that. Great. Search the content of your inventory and look for the nitron fuel. Got it. Double click on its icon to auto locate the fuel tank on the speeder. It's Where do highlighted. We... Aim at it and hold the left mouse button until you fill it's it. It's highlighted? In. Where is it? Is that it there? Where where is it? I don't I don't, it says it's highlighted, but I do not see it. Um, all right, I do not, I do not know which one is the fuel tank. Am I, am I doing, am I doing the thing right? Okay, nope. Um, core units. 
Uh, oh, there it is. Note also that you can pocket your construct into a massless compacted version, seen as a blueprint in your inventory. This is convenient to transport it between Alioth and the Sanctuary Moon. Cool. While taking the shuttle. Thank you. To do so, you will have to right click on the vehicle and select Construct Compactification in the Construct submenu. Right, this got works it. only with small vehicle, like this speeder. Okay, you're now ready to go explore. If you want to start piloting the speeder, target the seat <coughs> and activate it by holding the interaction button to start piloting the speeder. I can definitely do that. Let's get into the speeder. You your own now. Enjoy exploring your new world. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh God. Oh God. This is, this is not working. All right. Forward or pitch up. All right. So we just want to go forward. We're just going to go. And we're off. And I guess we can look around. And it, uh, one of the things that really hit home here for me was that it said, uh, distances are real. So there's someone's house. They've got a little nice ocean view there. That's cool. I like it. All right, so we've got move the camera. Um, hold with the mouse. Well, we're not doing mouse control mode. All right. Y'all right, y'all left. We're just flying around. So these are the... Oh, so this is like... There's a forest here. Can we go up? Can we... Oh, we can go faster. Ah, <laughs> yes. I love it. Uh, vertical engines up. Let's get about let's get up in the air. And let's go let's go looking. Oh, that's as high as we go. Cause we're we're a speeder. How much how much fuel do I have? Alright, I've got thirty one minutes. Thirty minutes, sorry. I used a bunch of fuel there. Oops. Don't want to hit that. All right. So, pretty sure we can make nitron fuel as well. This is pretty cool, man. So, these are all places that people have built. That's like someone's house. Cool. That one's like not interacting with the terrain, I guess. And we're just going for a drive. I love it. What was the map? Was it F4? Pretty sure it was F4, yeah. So where are we? Um, show me where we are. Yeah, we're in a very densely populated area. Okay. So we just need to find our own little sli slice of heaven here. Um, looks like a lot of a lot of the waterfront property is is already taken. Yeah, just like in the real world, just like in the real world. All right. Um Man, this is uh the the there are a lot of people already taking up property here. Man. Okay, well let's I guess it doesn't matter that much. I mean, this is this is all taken though. Like we got transported to an area where it's literally not possible to get a place. Maybe we want to go on top of a mountain? I don't I don't know, man. I don't know. Um, let's just, we'll look for some place, we'll look for the best place, and then I will drive there. I will drive to the best place. Yeah, no, that's not it. I quite, I kind of, I guess I kind of, I guess I kind of like the, uh, on top of a mountain thing, but we got to find one that's not already taken. Like, let's go here. Yep. Yeah. Set as destination. All right, here we go. Um, can we? So, how do we go? Can we go cruise control? Ooh, we're going pretty fast, man. So that's thirty kilometers away, and we're going three hundred kilometers per hour. That's pretty fast. 
I'm not, I'm not going to figure it out. I'm not going to do the math there. Um, but I will fast forward till we get to our location. nice spot I like this spot this is a good spot right here on this hill I think yeah I quite I quite like this woody spot here but I also did like that mountainy spot I don't know I don't know maybe we go maybe we keep going Maybe we'll, uh, we'll, we'll head to the mountainy spot and see, and see what it looks like. It's only another 7Ks away, so we'll get there. I did like that spot we were just at, but we'll just, we'll just go. <laughs> Oh yes, this is my spot here. This is the king's spot. The spot fit for a king. Lord of all I survey. Dun dun dun. Alright, let's get out of this bad boy. Right, race ship designer, first kilometer. Oh, I got some talent rewards. Excellent. Oh, I can, I can re repair my thing. Which one was the repair tool? Uh, was it... I don't know, was it 9? What was damage? You need to equip scrap before you can repair elements. Right. Alright. Um... Okay, where's the... I don't have any scrap, do I? I do not have any scrap. That's fine. All right, well, let's claim this bad boy. Uh, where's the where's the thing? Deploy, deploy sanctuary units. Um, directional detector, flatten tool, deploy element tool. Nope, there it is. This is ours. Use the deploy um, all T plus scroll. Oh, all right. So we can put it all the way. We can put it out there. We'll just we're just gonna claim this bit here. Thank you. Name. Um. This is gonna be called uh. Lord. Uh. No no no. English teacher. Haha. <laughs> Plays. Um. Mount and yes, claimed after 15 minutes. Everyone currently on this territory will be notified. Yep, deploy that bad boy. Fantastic! You are now the proud owner of a territory tile on a sanctuary moon. <laughs> Check it out in the map. This unlocks the possibility for you to mine or to harvest surface minerals within your tile. Go and harvest some materials on the surface to start with. We will then be able to go and sell it to make a bit of money. Fantastic. Let's have a look at our our territory. Where are we? There we are. That's us. Look at that. We own this mountain. It belongs to moi. And no one can say anything else about it. This is very cool. All right, let's mine some surface materials. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Let's harvest 
some surface rocks. Thank you, Cole. Thank you. So all the tiles seem to have some surface rocks, which is good. And we control a mountain. I don't know what we just harvested, but we harvested some stuff. This is very cool, man. I'm, uh... I might be in love. Like I said, I spent, I spent hundreds, if not thousands of hours in EVE Online. And a first-person EVE Online where I can, like, design my own ships and stuff. Oh, man, I'm onto it. I'm onto it. Um... This is very cool. So, like, I've, I've claimed my piece of property. I'm training some talents. Oh, this is taking a while. Um, harvested quantity. So, I don't, know, I don't know what we're doing. I don't know why we're getting a, a thing for harvested quantity. All right, we're getting some hints, though. we got to make sure we harvest all this stuff. Yep. Yeah. It's like a little pyramid of, uh, of snow. I guess that makes sense. Ooh, what's that? Let's get it. Malachite. Love it. Alright. And... We're gonna keep mining. Yeah, this is definitely a game that has travel as a time sink. Just like EVE Online. Because the distances are real. Excellent. You have now collected a bit of valuable ore. And it's time to go and sell it. You can continue to mine if you prefer. But when you are ready, I've put a waypoint to the nearest market for you. You can also open the map and search for the little M icons on it to locate available markets. So the nearest market is 33 kilometers in the other direction. We are not going there. Um, it's just it's just not gonna happen. Um, Oops, that's not what I that's not what I wanted to do. Why will why is this not letting me rotate it? So what's that? That's a mine. Um right. Yeah, so 33 kilometers in that direction is uh exactly where we just came from. Because that's how far I drove. Um we're not going back there. We're not. But I'm at an hour 20 for this video, and after I cut it down, it's going to probably still be like 40 minutes. Um, I don't know, man. Oh. Uh. Ooh. Territory claimed in 11 minutes. I love it. Um. I wonder if it's possible to clear out the surface minerals, or if it... Or if they just keep popping back up. What's this purple one? I am liking the surface minerals, because it kind of implies that the place is getting hit by uh, uh, meteorites and things all the time. Yeah, man, this game is hella rad. I love it. Um, I'm wondering if we can make nitron. Oh, man, I totally forgot. Crafting, there we go. We want nitron fuel, and we want... We need probably a hundred. Can we make that? Can we make 10? Can we make one? We can make one. We need silicon, pure carbon. Oh, right. We need to refine stuff. How do we refine stuff? Um, um, 10? 5? Okay, so we need... We need quartz. Right. So we need quartz to make pure... Alright, how do we make pure iron? We need hematite, pure carbon, we need coal, and pure aluminum, and we need bauxite. Right. Well, I guess we're going to have to mine to get our nitron. See, so I'm already sort of... I'm caught... I'm in the gameplay loop, and I'm feeling it, and I love it, because this is my little... My little piece of paradise up on this mountain. I can, I can look out over all the lands, and these are my lands. I survey them. They are mine. And we are mining. Right. So I'm just thinking maybe we go look at the description um, of the game. Uh, and then, and then yeah, we'll, we'll call that a video. And then I might do some more videos about this, you know. And you can uh, join me in my little travels and travails uh, through Dual Universe as it goes through beta and stuff. 
So yeah, let's go do that. Let's go look at the description. All right, Dual Universe, a persistent single server universe entirely built and driven by players. Rad. Um, so you can play now. There's recruit a friend, all that kind of stuff. Um, let's see. Incredible sci-fi potential is shaping up to be a fascinating MMO world, something I can't wait to play live. Single server technology space MMO, no loading, no server, instant, instantiation. Well, that is a weird word. Instant instantiation no tricks all players share the same persistent universe at the same time dual universe is the first metaverse a common shared virtual world controlled by the players it's not the first one eve online definitely already did this however um eve online definitely didn't do the uh first person bit you know like you get to build the things which is cool build almost anything voxel based fully editable universe create entire cities giant space stations massive warships underground bunkers or flying cars very, very cool. Player-controlled economy, Minecraft, build and optimize production factories, and barter or trade your creations or those from others. A shared universe means a single global economy run by players. Excellent. Space warfare. Yep, we didn't get into any of that, but that's cool. No character class, no predetermined role. Yeah. And your choices. Be a space pirate, a galactic trader, a cargo hauler, an interstellar, industrials, and everything in between. See, I did all that stuff in EVE, and I'm, I'm very keen to do it here as well. Um... So, if we go, um, if we go into play now, so here's the prices. So, for three months, you can get it for, what is that, $20.97, is that euros? I feel like that's euros. Um, so, what is that, like 10 bucks a month? About, approximately. Um, yeah, that's cool, and you can, you can, if you subscribe for a year, you get, uh, two months free which is pretty good um and it ends up being what is it still about nine bucks a month or whatever uh 6.99 per month 6.99 euros per month which is yeah more if you're in the states and even more if you're in new zealand um here's the specs that are required um not too hefty but uh you know it is it is asking for a 1060 or better which is fine that's totally doable um, wow. See, now I'm starting to, uh, I'm, I'm just on the recommended, uh, specs for the GPU. Um, I've got double, no, I've got triple the RAM. Um, and the thing that, the, the bottleneck on my computer is my, uh, my CPU. I run an i7 and it's only a, uh, 6th gen i7 i'm just like trying to think it's been a while since i've upgraded it but i spent a lot when i did upgrade it um but here's we thought hard about what the best business model would be for our game due to significant server costs when building a vast shared universe such as dual universe since we hope the game remains live for years to come we must ensure a steady revenue stream yep cool right um so it's very cool so definitely worth checking out i will put a link to the game in um uh in the description and you can check it out. Uh, obviously, I have a vested interest in other people playing this. Um, I did receive my my game time for free, and uh, I really like it. And it's definitely the sort of game that you know I'm I'm definitely down for. You know, I'm like totally here for it. I love it. Um, I got on I got in like not quite on the ground floor of Eve, but pretty close. And uh, I'm very happy that this exists. So. Uh, if you want to check it out, like I said, click on the link in the description. Um, otherwise, leave me a comment down below, like and subscribe, all that kind of stuff. And I will see you guys maybe in the dual universe. And otherwise, I'll see you next time. Class dismissed.